XAMPP and MAMP are software used to develop and test web applications on local server before deploying them on the live server. You can create your WordPress websites on localhost using any one of these applications. While both software are popular, which one is best for you? In this video, we are going to find out. First, let's discuss the price. Now, XAMPP is completely free to use. There is no paid version or pro version of XAMPP. All you need to do to use XAMPP is go to their website, choose the operating system for which you want to use XAMPP, and download the application. You just install it and start using it right away. Now, in case of MAMP, there's a free version and a pro version. The free version gives you a lot of features that you can work with, but the pro version gives you access to some of the advanced features of MAMP. For example, in the free version of MAMP, you get single host, basic features like Apache, MySQL, PHP, and PHP MyAdmin. You can switch PHP versions, and it's free for personal and professional use. No cost at all. But if you purchase MAMP Pro, it will give you advanced features such as multiple hosts, advanced features which includes tools like cloud integrations, DNS management, and mobile testing via MAMP Viewer. It also has special WordPress tools such as one-click installation, server migration, and publisher tools for WordPress. Now, let's talk about compatibility. Now, this is very important because the software that you want to use should support or should be compatible with the operating system, right? Now, when it comes to XAMPP, it supports all the three major operating systems, that is Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So if you're using any one of these operating systems, you can easily use XAMPP with it. Now, if you go to the website, you can see that XAMPP is available for all of these operating systems. Now, if we head over to the website, you can see the latest three versions of XAMPP are showing up for each operating system. And you can start downloading just by clicking on the download button. Now, when it comes to MAMP, MAMP was originally designed for Mac OS, but it's now usable for Windows as well. Now you can use it for Windows or Mac, but if you're using Linux, XAMPP is your only option between these two. If we head over to their website, you can see MAMP Pro is also available for Windows and Mac OS. For Windows, there are two packages, MAMP Pro 5, which is 99 US dollars, and the MAMP Pro 5 update, it's available for $59. And for Mac OS, if you want to purchase MAMP Pro, it's available for 89 US dollars, the MAMP Pro 7, and if you want to purchase MAMP Pro 7 Unlimited, it's available for $89. Now let's talk about the components that are available for both software. Now XAMPP uses a lot of components. For example, it uses Apache as web server component. For database, it uses MariaDB and for the programming languages, it uses PHP and Perl. So PHP is the server side language and Perl is another language. It also gives you the PHP MyAdmin. So this is the tool for managing your MySQL databases. And if you want FTP servers or FTP services, XAMPP uses FileZilla. And for mail server, it uses Mercury. And it uses Tomcat, which is a Java servlet and JSP engine. With MAMP, you can use Apache or Nginx. But instead of MariaDB, MAMP uses MySQL. Now, like XAMPP, it also uses PHP and Perl. And this also gives you the PHP MyAdmin, which you can use to manage your MySQL databases. Now, if you purchase MAMP Pro, it gives you access to some more components such as Python. And it also gives you Ruby and you can use PostgreSQL. Now, when it comes to usability or when you want to launch a WordPress website on localhost using either XAMPP or MAMP, both of the processes are almost similar. So let's first see how you can launch a WordPress website on XAMPP. So first, we are going to download WordPress. Okay, we have downloaded WordPress and after you extract the WordPress, you're going to get this folder. So this contains all the WordPress files. We're going to copy this folder. Okay. And then we're going to go to the XAMPP directory. Okay, so we have installed XAMPP in C drive. And after we come over here, we're going to go to the htdocs. And here we're going to paste the folder. And we can name this folder to whatever name we want. So let's go ahead and give this a name. Now, what we're going to do is go back and scroll down. 
we're going to launch the XAMPP control panel. Okay, once it's launched, we're going to start the Apache server like so. We're going to start the MySQL database. And after you start up your Apache server and MySQL database, we're going to simply minimize this and open up our browser. And from our browser, we're first going to visit phpMyAdmin. To do that, we're simply going to the URL bar. We're going to type in localhost slash phpMyAdmin. So I'm going to hit enter on keyboard and it's going to lead you to this phpMyAdmin page. From here, we are going to create a new database just by clicking over here. And then we're going to give our database a name. Then we're going to click on the create button. Now, after we've created the database, we are going to visit our website and it's going to launch the WordPress setup wizard. Now we're simply going to go through the steps and we're going to click on let's go. We're going to add in the name of our database. The username will be root. The password field will be empty and then we're going to click on the submit button. And then we can run the installation. And here we can give our site title name, username, password and email and then click on install WordPress. So let's go ahead and quickly do it. All right, our website has been created. Now we're simply going to click on the login button and we can use our username and password to log into our site. So that is how you can launch a WordPress site on localhost using XAMPP. If you want to learn how to launch a WordPress website on localhost using XAMPP, we have a detailed tutorial on that topic. You can find the link of that tutorial in this video's description. Now let's see how a WordPress website can be launched on localhost using MAMP. So you can already see that we have installed MAMP. It's on our desktop now. So we're going to open it up. And from here, we can simply click on start servers. And if this asks for firewall access for Apache and MySQL, you can simply click on allow. And after clicking on this button, it should start your Apache server and MySQL server. Now what we can do is simply click on open web start page like so, and it's going to lead us to this page. From here, we're first going to create a database and to access our phpMyAdmin, we can simply click over here. It's going to take us to our phpMyAdmin page. And from here, we're going to click on new the same way, and we're going to create a database. Now, all we have to do is place WordPress folder in the MAMP directory. So we have installed MAMP in another drive and you can see there's an htdocs folder similar to XAMPP. We're going to go to this folder and now we're going to paste in our WordPress folder. After it's pasted, we're also going to rename it. Now we can launch the installation. Now from here, we're simply going to type in our website name just over here. Now we're going to hit enter on keyboard and it's going to launch the installation. We're simply going to click on continue. Now we already have the database created. We're going to insert the database name. The username will be root. The password will be root as well. And we're going to click on submit and we can run the installation. Then we can simply name our site title, username, password, email, and install WordPress. All right, our WordPress site has been created. Now we can click on login and it's going to direct us to this WP login form. Here we can add in our username and password to access our WordPress admin dashboard. If you want to learn how to launch a WordPress website on localhost using MAMP, we have a detailed tutorial on that topic as well. You can find the link of that tutorial in this video description. So that is how you can use MAMP and XAMPP to launch WordPress website on localhost. Now, as you can see, both of these applications have similar steps when launching a WordPress website. So when it comes to usability, it's completely up to you which one you prefer. If you want to use a free localhost environment software, which is compatible for Windows, Mac, and Linux, you can use XAMPP as XAMPP supports all these three operating systems. But if you're running Mac OS, using MAMP is a better option because MAMP was specifically built for Mac OS at first. And if you're using Linux, XAMPP is your only option between these two. So. Let us know what you think about this video. If this video was helpful for you, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.